my amazing students. Welcome back to Information Technology class with Miss Brown. Class promises to be interesting, so please stay tuned. So today we will be looking at data communication, but first we need to know what communication is. Who wants to tell me what that is? For all my brilliant students who said that communication is the process of transferring information, instruction and data from one area to another, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the shoulder. You were indeed correct. But is communication the same in the information technology world or the computer world though? Well, yes, they are pretty similar. The only difference is that in the computer world, you must use digital devices, for example, computer, tablet, to transfer these information, instruction, and data from one area to another. So with all that said, let's get into the meat of the matter. What is data communication? Data communication is the electronic transmission of data or information from one area to another. In data communication, you must have a sender, a receiver, and the message that needs to be relayed. An example of data communication is you sending an email from where you are to your friend in another country. Now, how this message is transmitted is an important aspect of data communication. This is described by the direction of flow, also called data direction. Again, the way in which data, instruction, and information travels is called data direction. In data communication, we have three main data directions. One, simplex. Two, half duplex. And three, full duplex. It is important to note that each direction is unique in its own way. Take, for example, simplex. Simplex is data traveling in one direction only. Think about a one-way street where the car can only go up the road. That's how simplex works. An example of simplex communication is when you're watching the television and you can only hear and see but not respond. Now that we're clear on what simplex is, Let's move right along to half duplex. Half duplex is where data travels in both directions, but one at a time. Let's go back to the road again. Say for example, they were fixing the road and vehicles are unable to travel at the same time. What in charge will have to do is to allow traffic from one end to pass through first after which the vehicles from the other end would proceed that's exactly how half duplex works an example of half duplex is the walkie-talkie one has to finish speak before the other person can respond so let's move right along to the final data direction which is full duplex this is where data is transmitted simultaneously. Full duplex is similar to the highway where you have vehicles traveling back and forth at the same time. The most popular example of full duplex is the cell phone. This is where one does not have to wait until the other person is finished speaking to respond. I'm sure you had an amazing class learning about data direction and communication. You have a lot more to learn, so please remember to like and subscribe to our channel at Reach Educational Services. Have a wonderful day, my amazing students.